How can anyone hope to compete with DJI when they have a horde of engineers, a manufacturing team that can reach globally to users outside of the FPV hobby? Well, Carl thought about it. What if he's the main flight control manufacturer that's gonna be used whether you fly HD0 or DJI? And he's come out with a new flight controller to take on that horde of characters, the Halo flight controller. It's hard to even convey just how significant a release this Halo flight controller is. I'm kind of a big deal. H7 processor, USB-C connector. All you have to do to install this flight controller, plug in your ESC, plug in your HD0 V3 video transmitter or your DJI 03 or DJI 04 video transmitter, and boom, it's installed. Installed. <laughs> You slap it in a build in like 10 seconds flat and you're basically ready to set your beta flight up and go fly. It couldn't be easier. It comes with Gemini dual express LRS receiver on board and he comes with two little antennas that you can mount wherever you want on your quad. This flight controller has a three amp back so you can install even servos to this thing out of the many UARTs that you get with an H7 processor and what's even cooler for anybody that likes to customize their quad or for the racers out there it has four addressable LED pads on each corner so you could put a totally different set of programmable LED strips on each of the four arms as you wish or put up any type of pattern or combination that you want to on there. A lot of times for us racers, these things are tight. We're making very powerful combinations, very light when very compact. And one of the most annoying things is where do you stick a receiver on here? A lot of times in this open racer configuration, I would actually squeeze it underneath the antenna and right above the power leads, not even mounted to anything, just kind of squished in there, hoping that it doesn't fly out in a crash. And that's just no good. Now you don't have to worry about where you're gonna stick your receiver. I've seen some people like JBox actually double siding, taping them to the back of the camera. That's not something that you're gonna have to worry about ever again because the receiver is built into this board so you can have a nice clean three layer stack build and that's it so it's going to save you time it's going to have better connection because of the diversity included in this receiver and on top of that it's going to save you money because the two options available for this are going to be the icm gyro which is going to cost about 65 bucks now if you factor in that you got to buy an express lrs receiver most of the time for 17 18 bucks subtract that out and you're getting a top of the line flight controller for under 50 buccaronis and if you're one of those tried and true mpu 6000 pilots you can still get that just pay 20 bucks more and you got yourself covered there as well receiver built in for express lrs and its diversity receiver lamon's favorite kind he only used to like to fly ghosts in fact you never flew express lrs for a long time because there's no diversity yeah uh, until a 533 built me two bind and fly prospect quads with express lrs and you didn't like it though no i didn't explore so but now, nice. <laughs> this has digital plug on board so no soldering camera no soldering vtx no soldering receiver and no trying to fit a receiver in a tiny racing build is this exactly. your dream flight control it's kind of a dream i'm not gonna lie that's a dream I um, yeah i opened this box and i almost had, sorry, had tears coming from my eyes it's so beautiful it looks crazy look they even had the if you if you look at this you see this thing it has a red thing so you can pull easily and open it yeah because normally they don't have it and you have to use your nail right so look they thought that. even about that i told carl that he asked me for a fair price and i told him listen if you're gonna sell it for hundred dollars that's gonna be a fair price just nobody gonna buy it so <laughs> but it's gonna be fair right because if you look at like foxier h7 over hundred dollars and it doesn't have uh, it doesn't have the 
It was the rest receiver. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Foxer H7 over hundred dollars. It doesn't have express rest receiver. Uh, Keys Ultra over hundred dollars. It doesn't have express rest receiver. It doesn't have uh, on board whatever the black box. It doesn't have four amp step down five volt. Like four amp is a lot. You can power your servos. So now whether you fly DJI, you're still gonna want to have the HD Zero flight controller because it's the least amount of build and it's cheap. Is it allowed though? Is it legal to put uh, DJI on your HD Zero flight controller? I don't know. It might be a little frowned upon. I don't know if Carl's gonna like it. But this could be the flight controller whether you race or not. You can still help HD Zero because HD Zero is like helping the community, adding new features faster than DJI. So now you had to feel bad if you support DJI, you're not yeah. supporting Carl. But now you can support Carl even if you fly DJI. Yeah. Well, I will support Carl only if he builds a, a board for planes. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, we need a flight controller with integrated two ESCs. Oh, that would be nice. So you don't... You the, well, the first project is to send the H0 goggles to Neil. That's the first project. <laughs> and the second project, I hope Carl making a list of what he needs to do. What needs to be done today. Today. <laughs> <laughs> and the second is this, yes. There is an official beta flight target. So they didn't do... Yeah. Sometimes people make a flight controller, they don't ask the beta flight team. But they did this time, right? Yeah, they did this time. And there is even official Express LRS target for when you flash your receiver. Nice. Even better. But the only one downside that we can complain about is the ESC pinouts. Now, he complains, I don't. I think this is kind of a complaint because if you look at the top three ESCs for racing, based on the polls that Shames does, the top three are Foxier, Hobbywing, and Rush. And which ESC harness do you think that matches? Uh, none of them. None of them. None. <laughs> but I don't think that's Carl's fault. He asked the beta flight team, what's the pinout that I should use. And so he used their recommended standard. Exactly. But can you call it a standard if no one has ever done it before? So nothing matches this. No, some people done it before. Voltar ESC has that. Oh, Voltar. Well, yeah. maybe that's the new one that you should yeah. get. But you can repin the ESC in about 10 minutes and then you still don't have to solder. So it's still gonna be pretty easy. So that's like not that big of a complaint. But if you do wanna blitz about it, I think bitch to the beta flight team, not to Carl, because they told him. Uh, it's hard to bitch at beta flight team. <laughs> they just ignore. <laughs> beta flight ain't selling you anything, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to complain, simply change your Patreon contribution to beta flight from one hundred dollars. Yeah. Down to ninety five dollars. Yeah. That's the biggest way you could complain. <laughs> And if it was zero before, then uh, change it to 95. So that Betterfly knew that they fucked up. Yeah, that's the... Yeah. <laughs> Carl just came out of nowhere. We've been asking companies for years. For diversity in particular on the flight controller. That's yes. a big deal. And nobody's done it. Back in the years when well, analog... Ghost has it. Yeah, back but, in the years yeah. when analog... All racers, almost all racers using Ghost Hybrid. Yeah. And it was so easy to build. It was so fast. It was so just easy to fly because you didn't, everything was included. And then when we went to HD Zero, we didn't have that anymore. And this is why you never made HD Zero for like two yeah, years. Yeah, because it's hard to build. It's just, it's just too much to do. I don't know. So he had HD Zero goggles and HD Zero One module of, for yeah. like two years before you make a quad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah, I was using a zero goggles for analog. So that didn't go well, but <laughs> the, yeah. the time it took from HD zero flight controller to arrive to installed and flying less than one day. Less than one day, yeah. It's, well, with DJI. With DJI. <laughs> yeah. So this is like an HD zero judo move because now the best flight controller for flying HD zero is the HD Zero flight controller, but the best flight controller for flying DJI is also the HD Zero flight controller. That's checkmate right there. That's checkmate. Carl's basically over there telling us to taste the soup, taste the soup. And we're like, what's wrong with the soup? What's wrong with the soup? And Carl's over here like, aha, aha. Yeah. So now you could still support Carl even if you fly DJI, which yeah. we need everybody to support Carl because he's helping racing. 
But if you're a freestyler, maybe you didn't want to, but now you can. We're expecting in the next uh, Malta GP poll that flight controller will go all to HD zero. I don't know. That was very unexpected. Who would have thought that video company will do a flight controller? But I talked to Carl. He said it took them about half a year. And if you look at this piece of beauty, it looks like they packed a lot of stuff on one board. And then there's black box H7, which is big and the USB-C, which is also big. Man. But Carl said this was way easier than making everything packed on H0 VTX. <laughs> so no problem. Yeah. And like we know several of the manufacturers over the years, and I've been begging companies to make a flight controller like this. And they basically said they won't do it or it can't be done. And Carl just did it like on his day off while he's drinking his coffee. Boom. Yeah, I think he drinks coffee. Flight I controller. think Carl drinks beer. Oh, well. I saw Carl drinking beer. He drinks beer and developing flight controller. <laughs> I have beers. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Everyone owes Carl a six pack now. Yeah. <laughs>